Yeah, the, the, the game needs Australia. The, the beautiful attacking rugby that we know of this game was built in Australia. But this, the, the writing's been on the wall for this team and, and we thought and we hoped that because their backs were against the wall so much tonight mm. that they could produce something. And, you know, you go through the team sheet, there, there's a lot of good players in there, but they are outrageously poorly coached. Well, on that, so can I ask a question? Because you and, and in various media platforms have talked at length about structural problems in Australia, that for the last 20 years, this organisation has been really badly run and, and it's going to catch up with them eventually. Yeah. Uh, and I accept all of that. However, I watched a Dave Rennie Australia come to Dublin, yeah. as most people watching at home did back in November. Yeah. They're good. Yeah. And, and, and that same team beat France. So I, I take the broad structural problem, but this short term, Dave, out you go, Eddie, in you come. They have made a mess of the short term as well here. This didn't have to be this bad. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. There is zero doubt about that. There's all the strength, and this is what I try to say. It's so complicated in Australia. The problems are so vast and so deep, and on all these levels. But there is no doubt that the since the loss uh, to Italy, that the, the decision was made to get rid of Dave Rennie from that period to now has been managed disastrously, and the expect they overpromised, underdelivered. Selections were wrong. Uh, good players that should have been here were not here. Michael Hooper is top of that list. One of the greatest back rowers Australia's produced since the Second World War. An iconic person, a leader. Uh, like, and, and then they completely changed the staff. Look at the defensive structure out there. Robbie, Robbie is sitting here saying, they're going to chip. Mm. Where's the fullback? Robbie is sitting here uh, 25 seconds before they chip. And we're looking, where, where's Callaway? Where's, where's the defensive structure? The first, the first line out where, they, where Wales come through, where's the defensive structure? Yeah. 101 stuff. It, it's, it, so there's, you, and this is where it's, you know, for me, having come through that system and being, being really um, helped by that system and adoring it, and you don't realise it when you're a kid coming through, but as a coach you look back and you go, wow, you know, I was really helped in that. That was a really positive system. I learned a lot. It was tough. It was tough love, you know. But I've seen our coaching go back, our thinking go back. And then you come here and Eddie, I, I, I'm loath to criticise him because, but I think he let his ego get in the way and changed all the staff so fast. And that's really hard on the players to but, go from system But the staff system. don't want to work with him either. How, yeah. how many assistant coaches have we seen through all of Eddie Jones's teams? leave and not yeah, want yeah. to work with well, him. That team lost their attack coach in the eve of the World Cup. Yeah. So th there's something in that too. And if, if you're trying to rebuild a rugby team, but more importantly, rebuild a nation, yeah. you want a coach in there who's going to bring people together, yeah. not disjoint the whole yeah. thing again. 100%. So, yeah, totally agree. I think th for me, the, the biggest thing, like we were talking about backs up against the walls, like this is the biggest game in recent time for Australia after the first penalty in the second half. It was almost yeah. that they that they gave up. Yeah. You know, and we can yes, they we can did. talk about player quality, we can talk about coaching, we can talk about all the different fundamental aspects. That looked like a team that was leaderless, rudderless, without idea, and most importantly, without faith yeah. that they were actually gonna get back in this game and completely capitulate it. Body language was was really upsetting. Really upsetting. There was no fight. There was no there was no, listen, boys, come on, you know, where was the aggression? Yeah. Where, was, where was, you know, the Simon Portovans who'd lead us up and, and have, a, you know, do something about it? Where, are the, where were the guys that, that, yeah, they might be great players, but they had some dog in them. Mm. Like, where, where's the dog in that team? I don't care, you know, if you can play against New Zealand and get outdone, they're a great side. But there was no fight there. There wasn't me. one player with a bit of dog in no, them. Not one, mate, not one.